Good morning. Yes, I'm still in my PJs. And why? Because it's a little cool here this morning. And after doing my stretches in bed that you can find here, and then my ball exercises, I'm still feeling like a little stiff and not quite ready to face my day. So I've added a third segment to waking up in the morning because yes, with arthritis or cooler mornings, sometimes it takes a little bit longer. Make sure you've done stretches in bed, the ball, and then add this in to feel even more ready to move on to some more challenging exercises or go about your errands for the day. And how I start is so simple because it's morning, usually the sun is just starting to come up and I will start by just trying to get rid of stiff shoulders. If I've slept well, those shoulders feel so tight. So I just start some breathing and bringing my arms up on the side. No form needed, just to where I feel like, oh yeah, I might touch my shoulders. If I can, I go higher, but there are some mornings I'm just not gonna go higher. While I'm doing this, I might start just walking around a little bit just to get the blood flowing, right? Because we gotta get moving so the synovial fluid can get to those joints and help loosen them up and lubricate them. So I'm walking, I might walk around the house, trying to get those arms a little higher, but I recommend you do about 10 of them and keep breathing. Next, I will bring my arms up in front and it's just like I'm painting a wall with my hands and wrists. Again, if I feel pain, I might stay right down here. But if I'm not feeling pain, I will go higher. And again, I get bored sometimes. So I know it doesn't hurt to use my lower body. So I will walk forward, but now I want to concentrate on walking back because it's important to wake up those muscles in the backs of our legs. And I'm breathing and I'm bringing them down. And breathing and bringing them down. And this whole segment's not even gonna take five minutes and bringing them down. Next, our vertebrae can be very stiff in the morning because they fill with fluid in the night. So I don't wanna go too far to, oh, say injure that back first thing in the morning. So what I will do is just take my fingertips and walk down maybe to the tops of my knees because it's early. I don't wanna blow things out before I get into my day. Now, if I don't hurt, I might go a little further, but usually I get a little crack in the back that tells me, okay, that's far enough. And I'm breathing. Next, I will open up those energy gates because the backs of my shoulders or arms are pain or stiff. And I will add a little side step because side steps are important to wake up those knees and hips. Even though these movements are simple, they have reasons, right? And if you're feeling energetic, open it wider. Take a wider step. Yes. Breathing. And again, we need a few repetitions to have it be effective. That's it. Good. Back to rolling down because I know eventually I'm gonna have to tie those shoes up maybe pick up something from the floor and not even getting into my shoulders yet because I did that with the arms. Next, I will step a little apart and just try to do some lunges because if I do drop something, I'm not gonna bend over even in a squat first thing. I'm gonna reach toward the floor, supporting my arm to protect my back. By supporting my arm, I mean going to my elbow and reaching down and then to my elbow and reaching down and elbow and reaching down. Good. Then I will make sure I start marching at least 100 steps. And I count them. Why not? 
then if I want to each day add on 10 or 20, I feel like I'm growing. And you can march all over. I go all over the house, just getting the moving, getting the feet warmed up and the ankles, side to side, front and back, every which way, but definitely to get 100 steps and to start getting my day going. And front and back. Good, and I find already I can go a little to the bottom of my knees and breathe up. And I can make sure I'm sitting back, hips back, looking at my toes and up. And only a couple, you can do more later. And down and up. Good, now to help fall prevention, I will start lunging just front and back. Just front and back because that helps stimulate the balance reflexes. If I stub my toe, I'm creating muscle memory so I can catch myself. My brain hopefully will automatically kick in. I might do five or six on that side. And that's also warming up the hips. Make sure you're going front and back, front and back, and front and back. Now, if I'm feeling like I'm still want more, you can stop there and start your next real exercise routine because this is just kind of a pre-warm up. But sometimes I like to go out in the sun or another location and if I'm feeling good, I will repeat the first part, extending my range of motion to be a little more flexible, but not if I'm in pain, right? And sometimes I don't have time to repeat it because I got to get going. Again, you can throw in a little touch of those shoulders, expanding that chest. But this is if you're wanting more. But try to touch those hands on top, unless it's too painful. And touch your shoulders. Right. Good. And then again, the front and back, but trying to go a little higher till I feel, oh yes, those shoulders are stretching. I might take my neck up and bend those knees or I might go back to the walk front and back and this is all so simple but it seems to be working on loosening up the arthritis making me feel like okay yes I can get through this day and breathe in and exhale again open that chest squeeze those shoulder blades making it a bigger if you live in the south and you can go out in the sunrise, that's a wonderful way to do it. If not, maybe just change your location and do it. Take a big step and another big step and a big step and a big step. Good. One more final walk down those legs. And a deep breath. Because sometimes we forget to breathe. Exhale either through your nose or mouth. It's morning, so whatever's comfortable. And up. Now, I do get stiff neck from sleeping so sound. So let's add in head up and hold it just where you're looking at the ceiling or the wall and ceiling meet. And then head down and hold it, giving it a few seconds to stretch up and then turn it to the side and hold it and turn it to the side and hold it that tilt that head that's where i feel it the most i might rub that just gently getting the blood into there up behind the ear and then the other way, oh boy, that one's tight. I'm gonna rub that side. And that's it, folks. It's so simple, but sometimes when you're hurting, if you have an autoimmune disease, or like I said, it's just a morning that, wow, I'm not feeling myself, be gentle. Get going, and then I hope you'll feel that this helps you start your day. Don't forget the stretches and butt, the ball stretches, and then this, so that you can feel good going about your day. Thanks for joining me.